an update on the Red Cat Decono project I've been working on. I got the landslide tires on. See, they're working well. I did run it with the Terramoto 2 version 2 tires. It ran very well. The only problem I had uh, with 3S, it liked to lean and flip over sideways as usual what a Decono would do. So I solved that problem. Uh, I got the 13 tooth mod 6 pinion in. I uh, had to still work the chassis a little bit with the Dremel to get that motor to sit low enough so everything would mesh. Just hold on and I'll show you what I did for the handling. You're not looking at a landslide. This is the Decono. Okay. I have the landslide tires on. Also 30 millimeter extended hubs. There is a way of getting Terramoto version two hubs on here. It's just a matter of switching out the axles. I did bend one of them in the rear when it flipped, but I was able to straighten it out. Hopefully now with the combination of the tires and the handling mod I did, which are, these are landslide shocks okay all i had to do to get these landslide shocks on here is change this piece down here use the original the conal piece that threads on the bottom of the shock and also the spring retainer i utilize the spring retainer from the landslide it fits over nicely and there's no problems. Suspension wise, even though they're shorter shocks, the springs have more spring to it because these are eighth scale shocks. So as you can see, it's still smooth like the landslide is, even in the back, nice and smooth. Switch to the back, nice and smooth. Look at that nice levelness when it squats still have a lot of play and raise them up to here okay but the great part is now imagine you're going into a turn and you're leaning so when the truck leans this way these springs are stiff enough that the rear tire is not going to lift also the tires are heavy enough so you have a better riding truck that won't flip over. Hopefully it flips up this way. Does some wheel stands like the Tacona was with the Terramoto tires. But now with the 13 tooth, I should get better heat uh, dissipation on the motor and the ESC. And also with these shocks, I should get better handling and on the rough stuff, be able to handle the rough stuff better. It's amazing what you can do. I like to take parts from one truck to another, put them together and see what we get. And I'll tell you, can't wait to take this out tomorrow and see how she rides. I'll give her a report later.